So welcome to our robot arm project. We're trying to make a cheap robot arm move precisely using optical feedback and an adaptive control algorithm. We don't program in the robot geometry. The adaptive control system learns the dynamics of the arm automatically and online through the experience it gains just by moving around. The visual system works by tracking a grid of dots in a known pattern. We hand initialize it and then it can guess where all the rest of the dots are. So the dots are tracked using Lagadix VISP vision servoing platform and then all the separate dots are fused using OpenCV's fine tomography method. Then we collected a load of training data and trained LWPR, locally weighted projection regression, to learn a mapping between movements of joints and the effect on the homography matrix. We built a GUI for controlling the arm manually, and you see movements there change the matrix of numbers here. Those numbers are the homography matrix unfortunately transposed so the bottom row roughly speaking is the position of the grid in image space XY translation the off diagonal here is roughly the twist of the camera. So what we can do is request specific numbers for the homography and because the learning systems learn the relationship between those numbers and joint movements it can then move the joints to try and get the numbers to match what are desired numbers. Those numbers in the background are the TNC optimization routine, trying to work out the optimal action that will improve the error. We asked for 188 and zero, and more or less, subject to a, a few jerky movements, it bobbles around the target. It's improving its estimates of its own dynamics as it runs, so over time it does improve its accuracy. If just two numbers are defined, uh, it does very well at meeting the desired homography. There's only really three degrees of freedom on the robot arm that it can use to do this task. So when you ask for three specific numbers in the homography, it will tend to struggle a bit with that. There's quite a few problems with the hardware of the USB having variable latency so the arm tends to overshoot a lot and be jerky. There's a lot of unreliability in the system outside of the software. I'm not entirely happy with how precise it moves, but I think it's the best it could do under the circumstances. At that point, I was going to pick my nose and then I remembered I was going to pick. We can have a closer look at the arm. It looks like it moves quite a lot in it through its camera eye, but it doesn't really actually move that much in reality. So you can get a lot more technical detail on the uh, blog page at Edinburgh Hack Lab. I'm Tom Larkworthy. Thank you for watching.